So right now, I'm in one of my favorite places to go to to get away from the city. It is pretty loud just because I am right beside the Venetian Way Bridge, which connects to Miami Beach. So, you know, everybody wants to go to the beach. Homeless people have been here and been living here because it's a lot more rundown than it was when I first found it. So when I first got here, it was no trash. It was nice. Um, no graffiti. Uh, that's trash in this corner. For some reason, as a moving company, I guess they're going to take all the... I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know if this sign is gang related. Who knows? I still feel like I'm in my own personal domain slash bubble. Speaking of my own personal bubble, I've really started to feel disconnected from a lot of my peers. I don't know if it's because of the people of Miami or what. Young gentleman just looked at me. He smiled. He was a nice fella. There he is. He's running right now. Nice fella. Good ratings. Good ratings. People like... Okay, that's actually good people in Miami. You know, there's a lot of fucking assholes that if you don't wear a designer, like I said, they look, think you're, they literally think you're irrelevant. You know, I remember back when I was a kid, I used to be the class clown. I did anything in my power to stand out or be funny or get people to like me. You know, growing up, maturing, and becoming an adult, really. I realized that I just, I don't give a fuck how people look at me. I don't care how people view me. I don't care if you think I'm weird or, you know, I'm strange. You know, I've got that all my life. It's pretty hard, damn near impossible to hide those insecurities about yourself. But I don't know, man. Recently, I've just been feeling so different. Like, I just, I really stopped caring what anybody thought about me. At one point, you know, I really, I acted out of character. What's going on, guy? Like, that type of thing. I was doing a lot of that. That has nothing to do with my personality. I'm not that kind of, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. The only reason I did that was so I can fit in with the people around me because I grew up in a predominantly um, black school and predominantly black What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Culture? Culture? I live in a predominantly black environment, so pretty much everybody around me was into more of, you know, slang and black culture and, you know, hip hop and that type of thing. And I wasn't really into that. I've never been into that. Of course, I'm not gonna lie. I have listened to, a, you know, some good rap songs. I'm not gonna lie and say I don't like hip hop, but when it comes to music, I really like. If one of those YouTubers pulled up and, you know, asked the question, yo, if you had one song to pick for the rest of your life, what would it be? You know, it probably more than likely wouldn't be a rap song. It'd probably be like, Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, um, you know, Cool Cat, I don't know, something like that. My music selection comes a lot from my room, pretty much 100% because of my roommate. Before that, I didn't really take any time to figure out who I was, so I didn't really know any other music. Before I met Jerry, I used to listen to rap exclusively. That's all I listened to, even though I really didn't enjoy it. I was just, I was just pretending, honestly. I don't even know, you know, when you're a kid, bro, it's just it's so crazy how impressionable you actually are. And I know this is kind of a bit of a change, but I remember as a kid, I used to listen to people, like, oh, don't say, oh, kids are so impressionable. When you grow up, you're gonna see. And I always thought that I was one of the, like, the few that was too smart to like get impressed. No, I got, I got, bro, they all got me. Fresh and Fit got me, probably got you too. At one point in my life, it really had me thinking and believing that the only way I'll be valued as a person, as a, as a man, is if I get my money on point and I'm, I'm a millionaire and I got rich and I can do, which is not true. Of course, when it comes to dating, of course, a woman's gonna want a man that can provide at least something, but a lot of the guys that's complaining about girls are the ones that's completely broke, don't have a job, or live with their mom, or, so it is funny to see those kind of guys that really have nothing going on for themselves are the ones complaining when it, everybody else says, living a normal life, you know, have a job, working on themselves like a normal person, like a normal human being, they don't walk around hating women, mad at women, like, no, it's, yo, I get it, yo, I gotta get a job, she has a job, we all work, like, it's normal life. When I was around like 17, 16, 17, 18, I was very much into that red pill, oh, we gotta get money, guys, we gotta become high value men, yada, yada, yada. And it really took over my life. Honestly, it really made me more miserable. You know, they say that they saved men's lives and whatever. I don't think that's true. Everything that's said on that podcast can really be looked up as a normal Google search. Should I go to the gym? How's the gym beneficial to my life? How to make money? What's it like? Basic stuff. They're not really saying anything profound that's like, oh, I need it fresh and fit to find this. Like, it's not really that. So I feel completely confident to say this because I feel like er I know, I know this. Everybody that watches my channel, they're not in that red pill rage, hating shit. You know, of course, you can be red pill, you can understand the truth of dating, whatever, yada. Do your thing. You can't be a fucking bum and expect the world, my guy. Like, that's not how it works. Do you like the new road that I'm going down, you know, coming out more and exploring the city and just talking to you guys? But I also want to, you know, show more of my life and what I do, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me know if you guys like the new transition. I don't know if I mentioned this in a prior video, but you guys have been fucking showing out. Like, I think I got more views than I've ever had ever in my channel more subscribers more likes more com more everything I'm, my whole channel is in the green so
for that, I want to say thank you guys for supporting so much. That's what I really started this for. Like, ah, oh, you don't understand. Like, it just, it's literally like a dream come true. And I can't even imagine a hundred K, a hundred K, a hundred K. I'm talking to nobody, I'm talking to myself here. But a hundred K, a hundred fucking K. That's for another day. Um, I am about to relax here. Gonna do tight things and just, or I might just get back in the water. And I'm pretty hot. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I love you so much. Love you lots. Goodbye. Peace. And subscribe. I wasn't lying when I said I'm riding it right now. Let's go. Bro, the most fun on earth. No lie. Holy sh I love this. This is so fun. What? Look at this. I feel like I'm back in. Now it really feels like it's 2016 YouTube. Ah, all right. See you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.